Okay, we have 2.1, uh, which is what we're on now, and 2.1 is functions and their graphs. It's pretty simple here to uh, kick us off and uh, get started here. So 2.1. Um, functions in their graphs. It says, find the range. Well, first of all, to understand this, you got to know what the range means. And the range of an item, all right, the range of an item, there we go, the range of the item is uh, all of the y's. So basically, the range is every single y. Well, a point comes as x and y. So this is a y, and this is a y, and this is a y. So negative 3, 1, and 2. That right there is your range. It's your list of y's. So all the y's in this one is 3, negative 2, and negative 4. So 3, negative 2, and negative 4 is your range for that one. Okay. Um, all the y's, it's a negative 1, that is a negative 3, and that is a negative 4, so negative 1, uh, negative 3, and negative 4. If you really wanted to, um, you could write these in order from lowest to highest. If you wanted to, you could rewrite that as negative 4, negative 3, and negative 1 um, as the range, if you'd like. Keep in mind the domain, the domain, right? is all of the x's. So all the x's are your domain. So in the first problem, your domain would be 4, uh, negative 5, and negative 1. Once again, you could write that in order from least to greatest. Your domain in this one would be negative 1, negative 3, and 0. And once again, you could write that from lowest to highest. And down here would be 3, negative 5, and 2 would be your domain. It's just what all of your x's are. So find the domain, the x's here, that's my domain. Um, there's my domain for this one. And here's my domain for this one. So if I want to write it in order, negative 4, 0, 2. So there's that one. Write this in order from least to greatest would be negative 4, negative 1, 0. So there is the domain for that one. Negative 5, negative 3 and 5 from lowest to highest would be the domain for that one. Once again, the range would be the y's. So there is your range. There is your range for that one. And there is your range for that one. All right, decide whether the relation is a function. What that means is every x goes to one y. So, look at it like this. Zero. Zero goes to four. Does zero go to anything else? Nope. One. One goes to four. Does one go to anything else? Nope. Two. Does two go to do anything else? Nope, just five. Three. Does three go to anything else? Nope, just six. Does four? Nope, just goes to six. Each one goes to one y. However, so this would be a yes, by the way, because each one goes to one item. So that's a yes. However, this one, 4, goes to 0. And it also goes to a 1. See that right here? 4 goes to 0, and it goes to 1. It goes to two y's. Since it goes to two y's, this would be no, it is not a function. Um, Taking so a look here at this one, negative 3 goes to 3. Uh, negative 2 goes to 2, negative 1 goes to 1, um, 1 goes to negative 1, uh, 2 goes to negative 2, so 3 goes to negative 3. They all go to their own little different thing, so yes is the answer to that one. Just plugging in values here, what this is saying is everywhere where there's an x, right, you plug in a negative 1, so it's 18 negative 1 squared minus 12 plug in a negative 1 minus 3. So according to order of operations, that's like saying that I need to do parentheses first and exponents. So that's a 1. And that um, we have this left over right here. Um, next, parentheses, exponents, multiplication. So that's 18 
and negative 12 times negative 1 is positive 12. So there's what we have. Um, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, there is no division. Um, A for Aunt Sally and addition, so I add those to get 30 minus 3 because 18 plus 12 is 30, and I subtract to get 27 as my final answer. This is saying everywhere there's an x, put in a negative 11. So negative 3 times negative 11 minus 2. That's like saying 33 minus 2, which is 31, is your answer. So if you have any other questions or concerns on 2.1, please let me know.